mathematicians and po political scientists have agreed that a voting method should meet a following should meet the following four criteria in order for the voting method to be considered fair. So it's these four that I just mentioned. And so what are they? These are the definitions that will be provided for your next test. So the majority criterion is if a candidate receives a majority or more than 50% of the first place votes, that candidate should be declared the winner. Well, there are some cases where in the board account, somebody else might win if you're using board account, but meanwhile, there's somebody who has a majority of first place votes. So that's kind of interesting. So yeah, if you go into an election and you get more than 50% of first place votes, you feel like you should win, but there are some cases where you don't. In the back of our classwork packet, we have this situation. So the majority criterion, I'm gonna put it on the board for us. So we're gonna consider this board account example. So if we have three people voting in this way, two people voting this way, Okay, so I want you guys to figure out who is the board account winner. You can get a head start. I'll also show you our growth mindset mottos for the day while you're doing that. So here we have three people voting X, Y, Z, two people voting Y, Z, X. Okay, and here's our motto for the day. I persevere through obstacles and setbacks. I like that one. And then this is another one I like. I, now I'm starting to do two. I kind of like having these. Um, everything I don't know yet is something I can learn. Everything I don't know yet is something I can learn, right? Because it's an opportunity. If you're getting stuck, that's an opportunity to learn. All right, so um, first place is gonna be worth three points, right? This is worth two points, this is worth one point. All right, so who's the board account winner for this situation? So here we have nine plus two is 11. Six plus six is 12, right? Four and three is seven. So it looks like Y is the winner because it has the highest board to score. So Y is kind of now celebrating, popping the champagne, saying, great, I won, but well, what about this? So who has the majority of first place votes? So X has, X equals three and Y equals two. So this is the same, so it's, if it's three out of five, that equals 60%. That's definitely a majority. And this one is two out of five, which is 40%. So when X first saw these rankings, they were like, yes, I got a majority of the first place votes. He's thinking he might win, but then once the numbers are worked out, Y ends up winning. 
So guess what? Axe is really pissed off now because he's like, wait a minute, hold up. I have a majority of the first place votes. I should be the winner here. But Y is like, nope, we decided on board account in the beginning. So I'm gonna win, right? So here, this is just demonstrating where one of the criteria is, is uh, fail, it fails, right? So it's the majority criterion. So X feels like he should win or she should win. Meanwhile, with board account, Y ends up winning. Okay, so that one's important to, to recognize how a criteria fails.